Formal noun proposition papers. This next section of our course is dealing with a book review. And we're gonna have several different types of book re reviews. This one in particular is going to be an example of using Do Better. And so Do Better is uh, actually one of our other courses. And this is just kind of a, a, an example of what we would want in that uh, in, in the structure of the plural noun proposition. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I want to make note of is, so again, let's be clear as to what our assignment is because every assignment has, has a little bit different nuance in a, in a plural noun proposition assignment. And, and remember, in most cases outside of Ravensdale Bible Academy, they're not going to say, uh, write a plural, plural noun proposition paper. They're going to say something like, write, write a summary, give a book review, um, tell us about, you know, this article, uh, debate, you know, it might be in the form of a debate, but they're all the same. All these different types of read and repeat, watch and repeat reports really come down to developing a plural noun proposition uh, format or outline, which is why we spend so much time highlighting it. And so in Do Better, uh, the the uh, instruction is to write a two to three page paper outlining the top three lessons learned from reading the Do Better book. Uh, indicate which top three subjects, what and why these were of value to you. And so in the book Do Better, uh, this is what the book looks like. Uh, in fact, uh, there's a, another example over there, but you're, you're, you're drawing from a book, but the same, the same principles apply. Just like I said, you're going to determine the proposition in your paper. So in this case, it's like, look, here's, here's a whole book and you need to give three reasons. Well, let me give you a little cheat. I would go to the, uh, to the, you know, the table of content tense and just kind of draw out from there you know, one of your three. And then from there, you can build your, your supporting arguments. And so determine, you have to determine the proposition in your paper. What are your three favorite chapters? Which three chapters influenced you the most? Which three topics had the greatest impact of you? We're going to start to brainstorm. We're going to start to develop or determine what that proposition is so that you can begin to compose the outline of your paper then prepare the body, then write the introduction, then finally formulate the conclusion. And so the first thing, the first and essential thing is, is the brainstorming. And, and, and I find in dealing with students that this is actually uh, the hardest part. And, and one of the things that I've noticed is, is students really struggle with synthesizing things that they've read or watched and, and coming down to three different points. And for some reason, it's I think it's in the ambiguity of the question that they 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 just lose sight of, of what's being asked. That's why I always say, write down your question on the piece of paper so that you're literally staring at a blank piece of paper that's asking you, what three key points did you learn from Do Better? Because as your mind starts floating away, you get back, okay, what are the three key points that I learned? What did I learn? Then you just start, well, I learned this, I learned this, I learned this. And before you know it, you've got 12 things written down. Now you take another look and you pick the top three. Um, then you, now that you have the top three, just let's say headings, now you're going to have to write down uh, proposition statements or for your three key points. Once we've done that, now we have our three-point outline. Now we can actually have some structure to our... Uh, to our paper. And so maybe the, uh, the Roman numeral is, okay, in Do Better, we, we see kind of uh, three key points, uh, you know, commitment to excellence, good to great, and finally, uh, always compete. Those, those are the three key elements of, of the paper. So I'm going to write those down in the, in the Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three. Now I'm going to have to support those. Now I'm going to have to support them with supporting evidence, facts, illustrations, whatnot in my A and B for each point. And remember, we're going back to the introduction. Now that I've got three, uh, three headings, I've got my place of excellence, my good to great, my compete. Now I'm going to go back 
it reintroduced this, uh, this as an introduction. The three most impactful keys to do better were commitment to excellence, good to great, and compete. Okay? Keeping in mind, first sentence, capture their attention. If you want to improve your life, if you want to increase your business, if you want a better marriage, and then you come up with your, your next three statements. Capture their attention. Attempt to answer or ask questions. Either way, answering questions or asking questions, those both work. Uh, direct to a purpose. Give direction and then summarize. Uh, summarize the lecture or summarize the book in this case. Now we're going to put a body. We're going to put the meat right to the outline. We're going to put a, the meat to the structure support your proposition. These sentences usually relate to the reasons given. So if you're going to say a commitment to excellence, okay, well, what are the reasons? You know, what are the supporting statements uh, that this is, is, is the key to, to your, uh, what you gleaned or what you learned? Why or how does this a reason apply to your topic? How does it apply or relate to me? Make it personal. Explain how it works. And then what's the what is the benefit to others? Is there a benefit to others? Well, state what that benefit to others is. And then formulate the conclusion. Formulating the conclusion to the paragraph, as, as, as I mentioned before, I mean, this can be just the, the last thing that your reader reads or your hearer hears. And so you want to make sure you leave on a high note. You want to make sure that you wrap up your ideas. You synthesize them. You can do this very simply just by kind of restating or, or giving a summation of your thesis. Uh, but ask yourself, is this presented well? Did I even, did I even really give a, a good argument? Did I even present the facts well? Do I need to do more? Do I need to go back and revisit? By the time you get to your conclusion, the work should be done for you. It really should be. And, and only if you were like holding back some you know, some knockout blows, some, some key powerful points till the end. But all your real research, all your study should, should be done. It should be complete. This should really be just a, a restatement, um, a, a, a cherry on the top to your, to, to your paper, paper. Finally, you know, <clears throat> tell me why I should agree with you, right? We're both reading the same book and you tell me why why I should agree with your three favorite. Uh, you're trying to be persuasive. You're trying to win an argument, trying to win the verdict, right? You're, you're, you're really trying to win. And so uh, finish strong, finish powerfully. You know, don't, don't, don't be passive, be, be aggressive and, 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 and attempt to at least uh, make an impact. So when you're when you're doing your your book reviews, especially when you're doing you know do better book review, uh, keep in mind your plural noun proposition is really going to come in handy because the what what you're going to risk doing is taking the entire book and all the different concepts in the book and and really start pulling and grasping from think of it like a tree. So you've got this tree. And you've got limbs all over the place. And, and just imagine if, if each tree limb represented a different piece of fruit. Okay, a different piece of fruit. And there were, you know, 16 different types of fruits that were on this tree and on the, uh, and on the tree limb. And you said, look, the three best pieces of fruit on this tree are the apple, the orange, and the pear. But throughout your presentation, throughout your argument, you, you're, you're reaching around, you're, oh, but the, the, the cherries, oh, the cherries are so, oh, I didn't, and, and, and the pomegranate, you know, oh, those are so good. Oh, and the fig, and you're confusing me. You're confusing the listener. You're confusing the reader because, you know, you said and you synthesized to say it was the apple, it was the orange, uh, and it was the pear. Those are the three main fruits. Those are the best fruits. Those are the best tasting fruits then you have to support your evidence using those three and you forget the rest. So when we're doing book reviews, you have several chapters. You have several concepts. Hone in, focus in on those three. Uh, you you got to tighten it up, right? You got to tighten it up. You, you got to be concise. 
you got to be crisp. And so in keeping to your structure, if you're saying, look, the three, the top three benefits, the, 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 the three lessons that I earned were a commitment to excellence. You write that down, commitment to excellence, um, good to great, good to great, and then compete, compete. You make sure, and you should easily be able to, to, to look at your structure from your outline and then your supporting facts say, okay, that's my argument. And then now I take my conclusion, I wrap it up, put it in a bow, and now I've got a nice, clean, crisp, clear, powerful, uh, you know, verdict-winning plural noun proposition paper for do better.